When I was a kid back in the 80s, I had an obsession with Cabbage Patch Kids along with the whole rest of the country. So today we're going to talk about that. I'm ashamed to admit on a small scale, I also got into this craze. <laughs> So Keith, how many Cabbage Patch Kids did you have? I think I had two real ones and my grandma made me a fake one. Oh, that was a popular craft. A lot of grandmas were out there stitching handmade Cabbage Patch dolls. Cause you couldn't get them. They were so hard to find. So this is my first Cabbage Patch doll. Isn't she cute? And her name was Betta. Now you didn't get to pick their names. The they, names came with the dolls. Yeah, they came with a birth certificate. Mm-hmm. And on the birth certificate, they had their names. And so today we're going to play a game to see if I can name my Cabbage Patch dolls. All right, so as Keith mentioned, he had a couple of these dolls, a few of them. Here's, here's uh, his first one. We did save all of their birth certificates, and thankfully, I had the foresight of taking their pictures so that, and putting them with the birth certificate, so we know all the names. They're in this book, and um, I have not looked at the book. She had a bunch. Oh, I did. I actually had 13. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but I had 13 Cabbage Patch dolls, and um, for each one, I took their picture, and then we put their birth certificate. So we already know this one, because this was my first one, and her name was... And I'm going to guess my first one, I, I feel like it was a Byron. 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 Okay, so let's, let's see. is it in the book here? Yeah, yes, let's it's see. in the book. Now this book we made, I made the book years later. I think Zoe made it actually. She helped oh, me. Oh, I was right. Oh, you got it. Byron Alfie. Byron. Having 13 of these, there's no way I'm going to know the names of all of them, but there were some that were like my favorites. I know you're not supposed to have a favorite kid, but I did have some that were my favorites. Okay. So those I'll be able to identify, I think. All right, well, let's play Name That Cabbage Patch Kid. <laughs> okay. We, we already established Abby remembers the name of her first Cabbage Patch Kid. Mm -hmm. So let's see how many more she knows. Okay. All right, we have this fine gentleman <laughs> here with some nice blonde hair, a passy. And a passy. And the passies came out, and this was like very exciting if you got one that had a pacifier. Um, and he was my second Cabbage Patch doll, and his name is Herbie Quentin. Ding, 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 ding. Yay! Wow. Let's and check Abby, the birth certificate. Listen, Abby has not looked at this book. No, not in many years. Herbie Quentin. I even remember the middle name because he was very special. Who's next? Okay, this one has a tooth. You can see, look, isn't that so cute? And I think her name is Diana. You know what the middle name is? No. I'll give you credit for first name. Oh, did I get it? It's Diana Ellie. Diana Ellie. So when I was um, like 12 or 13 or something, I got braces and I had to wear the dreaded headgear. <laughs> I mean, you didn't think I came by these naturally, did you? So anyway, I had to sleep in that, only sleeping. Um, and so when I got my first Cabbage Patch doll that had a tooth, um, I also got headgear. Uh, someone at like a craft fair or something was making these and I was like, oh, my doll needs a headgear so she can be like me. <laughs> That's O-T-T. <laughs> what does that mean? Over the top. Oh, but I feel bad for Diana because she used to have really cute hair. And then at some point I took her pigtails down and I tried to do a French braid, but I didn't oh. do a, a great job at it. So her hair is kind of ruined. Rookie so. mistake. Sorry, Diana. All right, what do we okay. got next? Or who do we have next? Okay, next we have this guy. Ooh, we're in a fashionable uh, windbreaker there. Okay, and he has sort of like fuzzy hair. He's very cute. And I, and oh, look at his dimples. Yeah. Now they say that every Cabbage Patch Kid was different in the whole world, sure. that no two were alike based on their facial features, their eye color, their hair color. And that, that could be true. There's no way. Well, it could be true. Uh, billions of these things that were sold that two aren't alike. I believe it. Well, anyway, I think this guy is named Blake. 
I think. This would be Blake Nelson. Blake Nelson? Oh, that's crazy. His name is Nelson. Yeah. That's uh, his family name. His dad and grandpa's name is Nelson. So, uh oh, somebody fell. Who's our next contestant? I she, think that's she, her. She was anxious. She was excited. Um, uh, I think this is Brooke. Oh, it's not? No. That would be Benita Gale. Benita. <laughs> I don't remember. I'm sorry. I don't remember having that name, but that's a beautiful name. <laughs> okay. Maybe right. this one's Brooke. She looks very similar to Benita. Is this Brooke? Is that your, is that your final guess? Wait, do I have any more? Oh, wait. That one's going to be Brooke. Um, I don't know this one. That would be Lynette Bridget. Lynette. Okay, that Lynette. rings a bell. She's cute. Look at her hair. Okay. All right. Got a little baldy here. A little baldy. Um, uh, Alistair? Alistair Cody. Oh, I can't believe I got that. I, I did not think I could remember it. Just came, just came to me. Look at him with his little tongue. <laughs> Little baldy, they're so cute. I love, I still love these. Aren't they cute? Okay, who do we have next? Um, Isaac. Isaac Doyle, that's correct. Isaac Doyle, oh, nice to see you again. I'm sorry I, I messed up his hair a little bit at some point. <laughs> sorry, bud. Okay, here. All right. Okay. As, are we down to the... Okay, we're down to this end. Abby had 13 of these. I did. <laughs> I mean, I'm an only child. <laughs> okay. Um, it's a preemie. This one is... Now, when they came out with the preemies, I was so excited. I really wanted one. And I got one for Christmas. And I was very excited. This is her. You can see, like, they're just a little bit smaller. It's kind of hard to tell. Look at their little bottoms. <laughs> All their bottoms are signed by the creator of Cabbage Patch Kid. Okay, uh, this is Matrika Maddie. You got it. Ah, yay, she's so cute. Soon after that, I got another preemie, a little, this time a little boy. Isn't he cute? And I think that his name was Dexter. Starts with a D, not Dexter. It's not Dexter? No. I don't know. Denny Skip. <laughs> Denny Skip. Denny Skip. Where did they come up with these names? Okay, sorry. Denny Skip. They, they just used some random name generator. Look at his little sailor outfit. I wonder if that would have been way before. No, uh, they made it. No, they're born at the Babyland General Hospital, Key. They're falling on me. Okay, I really do think that this one is... Are you okay? <laughs> I really do think that this one is Brooke. That's Brooke Kalina. Kalina? Helena. Oh, Helena. Brooke Helena. Brooke Helena. Oh, she's so cute. Okay. All right. You're, you're doing really I, well. I'm doing better than I thought I would, but now we come to the I, redheads. I'm, I'm betting $5 you don't guess this one's name. So there's two redheads. I know this one. But this one, I just, I don't remember. Did we bet $5? No, I didn't uh, take that bet. Okay. I don't remember. Delta Japa Jake Oh J Japica. <laughs> what? How do you spell it? J A C O B A. Like Jacoba. Probably Jacoba. Hang on. Delta Jacoba? Interesting. Or names. Jacoba. Delta. I think we just go by oh, Delta. Delta. Yeah. Okay, but this one, the next one, I do remember her, and I believe that her name is Esther. Is that right? It's close. It's not Esther? It's Estra. Estra? Estra. Roxana. How do you spell it? E-S-T-R-A. Estra. Estra. That sounds made up. Okay, sorry. I've been calling her Estra, Esther the whole time. <laughs> oh, well. She's exotic. That's an exotic name. Yeah. Was that it? Uh, no. Oh, yeah, that was it. The, other, the next one was mine. And we already did yours. And then we had one other guy. Oh, here. oh, okay. This is uh, the, the rare Kusa. That's Kusa. actually what they called them. These weird 
Cabbage Patch Animals that came out also in the 80s. Um, and it was called Akusa. And this one, I believe you got to name it yourself and then they sent you a little tag. And it says its name is Sugar. 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 Sugar? <laughs> These are so weird. I don't understand. It's like, is it a cat? Cat baby? With clothes? I don't know what's going on. They have a tail. A very odd animal. But that's a kusa. This whole thing is weird. Not only the kusa. Well, one of these days, I really want to go to Babyland General Hospital. It's still open, guys. Can you believe it's that? It's in Atlanta, isn't it? It's outside of Atlanta. It's in Georgia somewhere. Put that on our list of things to do. Add that to Abby's bucket list. <laughs> Going to the Cabbage Patch General Hospital. Yes. Well, I also, in addition to that, I had the dolls. I also had a lot of memorabilia, such as, yes, the Cabbage Patch Kids, Cabbage Patch Dreams record album. I also had birthday parties for my Cabbage Patch dolls, and I received cards in the mail. So, I'm not really sure how this works. I think if you signed up for the parents club and sent them your address and stuff, they would send you things in the mail so i got little birthday cards birthday for my cards. dolls and on the inside it says and you're number one with me happy first birthday and then, and then the other ones i think i made myself I these were homemade cards yeah oh herbie herbie have a happy happy first birthday herbie. love mommy oh i made him a little birthday card and i had a party and i specifically remember my friends came over with their cabbage patch dolls and we played games and stuff, and um, we listened to the Cabbage Patch record album. Yeah. And we played like musical chairs and stuff. And then I also have this, my Cabbage Patch Kid and me, and it's like a photo book where you write in it, and it has all kinds of <laughs> hilarious things in there that I wrote, and some pictures. I also used to pose my dolls yes. and take their pictures. Abby has some good pictures of that. So that was fun. We might just insert some of those in here for you to, to enjoy. It's also pretty cool. The uh, the birth certificate adoption papers would cool come in these little envelopes that Abby yeah. that Abby has saved. I saved them. They were pink for the girls and blue for the boys. And but I think the name showed through, so you at least knew their name before you uh, went in the box. I, so, oh, and so for, before you bought it, you I think know you. Their I were? think so. Yeah. yeah. Of course it. In that day and time, they were so popular, you just took whatever you You didn't get. care. Yeah. yeah, in fact, I don't know if you got a choice. When they were super popular and they came in, I believe my mom got on like some kind of waiting list and they would call her. And then you just had to take whichever one they handed you. And so you didn't know, what, is it going to be a boy or a girl or what? You didn't yeah. get to pick. Yeah, I mean, the parents would be waiting outside the stores mm -hmm. for the doors to open when they knew they were getting a shipment. They'd run. Yeah, they'd run. I think there were some fights. All kinds of good stuff would happen over <laughs> the Cabbage Patch Kid dolls. Oh, you gotta love the 80s. I will say my parents did not ever fight other people for the Cabbage Patch dolls. But there was one time I specifically remember my mom and I were at Kmart. We were shopping. And they made an announcement that there was a new shipment that had come in. And they brought out like a pallet or something just loaded with them. And we did run to the back of the store, wherever they, the toy section, wherever they had them. And we ran over there and we did grab one. But it wasn't like a situation where everyone was fighting. It, it was like, we just happened to be there at the right time. 
And so this, the, but everybody that was in the store did sort of like run over there, beeline over to the toy. So that was the only time I remember it being like really exciting. So in the 80s, it was Cabbage Patch Kids. Yes. And the 2020s, it's toilet paper. <laughs> oh, oh man, that's sad. It is sad. Oh. Our society has digressed. Oh no. Well, at least we have all our Cabbage Patch dolls to play with during this quarantine. <laughs> well, of course, in addition to the frenzy for all the dolls, then there were the accessories. You have to have accessories, right? You have to have clothes. That's where all the money is. It's in the accessories. Oh yeah. I mean, I bought a lot of clothes. I also bought a lot of like knockoff clothes and baby, like real baby clothes and diapers to put on my dolls. And then of course there was all the ladies at the craft fair selling the handmade clothes and whatnot. I have some things here to show you. This is dated 1983. It's a little, um, it's, oh, I thought it was a blanket. Oh, you know what this is? Like I think change. it's a carrier. Oh, a carrier? Oh, no, it's a changing. I don't know what it is. It's like a blanket. But I did have a carrier, and my friend and I would uh, carry our dolls, like, on our bellies on these carriers to the store, and my mom was so embarrassed. She's like, really? <laughs> You're going to bring those? And, but we did. Oh, here's the carrier. Here it is. This is the baby carrier. Let me try, try it I on for them. Try it on. Okay, we'll try it on. Hey, Abby, you look sweet. Thank you. I'm ready to go to the store now. Let's go. We can stock up my toilet paper. <laughs> I I have bags full of the shoes. They came with shoes, but you could buy like little sneakers. Look how cute. Little sneakers. Yeah. All of the shoe the shoes didn't fare well. The plastic is kind of like sticky now. I think it's degrading. Yeah, it's, it's turning brown. And they oh, and we should say they used to smell really good like baby powder. Yeah, they smell like they don't not they're not they're not stinky, but they smell musty. Musty baby powder. Little bunny slippers. And a, I have like this whole bin of clothes. Whoa! Crazy. Um well, when you have 13 babies, you gotta take care of them. You gotta. <laughs> you gotta. But here's something we found. This is funny. Cabbage Patch Airways. It's a little travel bag. Some glasses. Oh, I remember these. I, you can put them on the dolls. Who wants to try on the glasses? Here you go. Oh, oh, I broke it. <laughs> I totally just broke it. <laughs> I fixed them. Whew. It's okay. I'll sleep better tonight. It was a lot of fun to uh, take a trip down memory lane and revisit Abby's obsession of Cabbage Patch Kids. I won't lie, it's a little scary. <laughs> All right, so Abby, what else do we have planned for a future video that's Cabbage Patch related? Well, Cabbage Patch Kids were so popular in the 80s that when I was looking through those old cookbooks I was telling you about for my mom's, I actually found a recipe called Cabbage Patch Stew. They're going to taste delicious. <laughs> I don't think it has any dolls. No uh, dolls will be harmed in the making of the Cabbage Patch Stew, but we are going to try that recipe, so watch for that video coming soon. And spoiler alert, I don't like cabbage. <laughs> well, we're, you know, these are hard times, so we're going to make it. Quarantine and times. you're going to like it. Quarantine measures. I'm just kidding. I know you guys like to see Keith try new foods. You like to see that face I make when I don't like it? But maybe you'll be surprised. Maybe you'll like it. I think it's kind of like chili. Anyway, stay tuned for that. <laughs> it's like chili. Yeah. Okay. All right. Stay tuned for that. We will see you soon. Let us know in the comments below, did you guys have Cabbage Patch Kids? And what were their names? Do you remember? Did your parents get in a fight? We'll see you next time. And in case we don't see you, good afternoon. Good evening. And good night.